Closing costs on the purchase of your new home? I'm gonna cover that, as well as certain times you can save money in this video. Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Rooney here, and on this channel, we talk everything real estate. From buying, selling, investing, to becoming an agent, becoming a broker, even building a team. You name it, we talk it. Consider subscribing, and at any point during the video, check out the link in the description below for more information. Let's jump right in. Okay, when you buy a house, you're gonna have closing costs. There's a few to go through here, but I'm gonna break them all down. We'll start with title insurance, which protects you from any challenges to the ownership of your home. It typically costs about 200 to 300 bucks, but it'd be built into your legal fees. Next, we have land transfer tax. You can always ask your realtor or lawyer to calculate this for you, but here's an example of what the land transfer tax would be on a $500,000 house. On your first $55,000, you're going to pay 0.5%. That's 275 bucks. On your next $195,000, you're gonna pay 1%, which is 1,950 bucks. On the next 150,000, you'll pay 1.5%, so 2,250, and then anything past the $400,000 mark, you'll have to pay 2% on. So in this example, another 2,000 bucks. Add them all up, and you get your total land transfer tax on a $500,000 home of $6,475. Couple fun facts for you. If you live in Toronto, you have to pay this tax twice, but if you're a first time home buyer, you don't have to pay this tax at all, or at least not on the first $400,000 of your purchase. Next, we have your lawyer fees, which will include the cost of land registration. Lawyers range in price, so feel free to shop around, but expect to pay about a thousand bucks. Mortgage default insurance, or CMHD insurance, comes next. If you have less than 20% down, you'll have to pay to insure your loan. This cost can be built into your mortgage, but the PST will have to be paid up front. The insurance amount varies from roughly 2 to 4% of your mortgage amount and is based on the size of your down payment, so ask your mortgage broker or lender to calculate this for you. Then be prepared with 8% of that amount on closing. There's something called a statement of adjustments when you buy a property. Basically, if the seller has paid an expense that you're going to reap the benefits of, you'll have to reimburse them. For example, if the seller paid their taxes for the whole year and you take possession of a house on October 1st, you'll owe them for the last three months worth of tax. Same goes for condo fees and anything else you can think of. And then last but not least, don't forget your moving costs. You may hire movers, they'll probably want to get paid, or you may rent a truck and get some friends or family to help. If that's the case, you'll probably need money for pizza and beer. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos covering all things real estate. And if you know anyone that this video would be valuable to, please share it with them. Hit me up below or shoot me an email with any questions or comments. And until next time, this is Matt Rooney talking everything real estate. If that's the case, you'll need money for the truck and the pizza. If that's the case, you'll need money for the truck and probably for pizza and beer. Can you say action?